Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, welcome once again, my name is Patrick. Um, this is the CIA show. I will just make um, another commentary. Um, the first one I've made will be on the... Um, I'll put the link somewhere. There or there. Um, there. Okay. Either left or right. Please and watch, share and subscribe. Okay. So I just want to talk about uh, the interview that uh, Mr. Olutunji... Sorry, Olubumi, uh, Mr. Let me get the name again. Olubumi Tunji Ujo. I'll put the picture. Either there or there. I'll put the picture. Okay. Now, he was on Channels TV and he made a um, um, comment about the Nigerian passport that um, they are going to sort. They're going to make some drastic changes. Okay. If you know him, um, turn this video to him. That in the West, in the Western world, Europe, in the Western world, going to a Nigerian embassy is a task. Going to a Nigerian, to, to a Nigerian embassy is a tug of war. Going to a Nigerian embassy is depressing. Going to a Nigerian embassy is an eyesore. I can go on and on and on. Well, the system is so bad that when you step in into a, um, you know, the Nigerian High Commission or the the uh, the embassy, Nigerian embassy, you will see. You know, for a truth, you are in Nigeria, because everything there is chaos. I don't know how true it is, but I heard. That even in the embassy, that the um, Eguje, they say practice Eguje, I mean bribes. Uh, they sort people, you know, you give them things and then they sort you out. So the Eguje culture, they, 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 they brought it to the West, you know. It still goes on. I believe the Nigerian embassy, you know, this issuing of passport is a simple thing. But we know that in Nigeria, we, you know, we, we try to make things difficult. Because if we make it easy, some people will not get their normal share. We, we, in the Nigerian system is that we, we tend to put roadblocks. So those roadblocks, you know, where you put stops, not to check, you know, on um, not to be efficient, but those roadblocks, you know, is just to show how, you know, uh, the, the um, to show um, who is in charge. Those roadblocks, you know, um, are there, you know, for a good job, those roadblocks are there to exhibit our stupidity. If you ask people, people will bear me witness. If you ask anyone who remembers or thinks, "Oh, I need to renew my passport," you know, it sends you to depression. And as normal, the, the staff there will frustrate you. It is a chaotic place. But this, um, you know, um, Olubumi, the Minister of Interior, is um, made a comment on Channels TV that, you know, they are going to make things easy. Now, 
I don't know what they've discussed in their group, but I just want to point some things out. If you want to apply for um, a Swedish passport, um, a French passport, you do those things. If you want to, all you do is from your house there, you fill up the forms, you send your documents, and before four in less than in less than four weeks four weeks is too much but just say they put it there say you know um, between four to eight weeks you should have your passport but in our own case in our in nigerian in, um, in our own case it is different so the question is why will someone that lives in scotland we we'll travel from Scotland to London, which takes about six hours. Gets to the where he has to stay in a hotel. Then in the morning he will jump out. He or she will jump out and stay on the queue. So I just want to put this way: getting a passport, in most cases, um, takes about two days just to process your papers. And don't make a mistake of not going with one document. Then you've, you've fallen into their trap. In most cases, to photocopy um, a sheet of paper, maybe you didn't come with uh, one sheet of paper or whatever, you need to go and make a photocopy. That's where you know that photocopy Photocopying is not cheap. Let me not go there. But just want to send to the Minister of Interior. It is a good, it's a noble thing to to say that um, from couple of in a couple of weeks' time now, that people will be applying for their passports from their homes. That's a that's a good move. That would decongest. The Nigerian embassy. That would decongest the Nigerian embassy. Now, but I just want to say something. Even if, because he said something that if you apply for your passport from, you know, from from your from the comfort of your home, and you go for an appointment to get your biometrics, so that's your um, your fingerprints, your um, you know. Um, your fingerprints are your retina scan, the eye scan, whatever they call it. But just want to make things that uh, that's a good thing. But what will happen when the passport expires? Will the same process happen again? You know, do your application online from your home, then go to the embassy again to give your biometrics. Because it's a simple thing. The biometrics should be in your database someone's fingerprints cannot change someone um irises cannot change unless the person had an accident maybe he lost their the person lost their arms or they are blinded you know then but i just want to tell the minister please if someone goes to the embassy to and the, the embassy manages manages to capture the biometrics please can you make it mandatory or compulsory that when the person wants to apply again, he or she doesn't need to come to the embassy, parade himself for another capture? Because, Minister, you need to try and make sure, but we know the system, where we come from, that your people there, even though you've got good intentions, but your people, because that's our system, will put up roadblocks. Because that a good jet must be flowing. So please look into this. That once someone goes and um, gets his um, biometrics captured, doesn't need to visit the embassy again, because that will make things easy, <clears throat> and the staff at the embassy we have other things to do. You know that that will make the embassy efficient. So please, thank you very much. Please 
share, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you and peace.